The House Logics wireless propane sensor allows you to easily monitor propane tank levels using your Control 4 system. The kit is compatible with many existing tanks and can easily and safely be installed by most technicians. The kit includes everything you need to monitor propane tanks including wireless transmitter, base station receiver, Control 4 driver, and the necessary cables. The House Logics wireless propane sensor works with Rochester remote ready gauges that are commonly found on most propane tanks over 50 gallons. If the gauge that is currently installed is not remote ready, chances are that it can be updated by calling the propane tank service provider. The sensor installation is non intrusive, no tank penetration required, and installation takes less than 5 minutes even when switching gauges. You will need the following tools to install the wireless propane sensor. Drill, a 1 half and a 3 16 metal drill bit. Drill a 1 half inch hole in the top of the tank cover, also known as the dome. Install the transmitter with the 1 half inch nut. Rotate the transmitter so the solar cell faces south. Drill 3 16 inch holes for the wire management hangers and install as required, routing the wire around the inside circumference of the tank cover and to the cover hinge to prevent entanglement with the tank hardware. Plug the sensor cable into the remote ready dial and the transmitter cable. Document the 5 digit transmitter ID number laser engraved on the side of the transmitter cover. Install the base station within the 300 foot range of the transmitter in standard home construction. If the base station needs to be extended closer to the transmitter, a standard DB9 to RJ45 extender can be used for up to 100 feet from the Control 4 I.O. device. Plug in the provided mini DIN to serial cable to the mini DIN connector on the receiver. Plug in the provided power supply to the receiver. Now we can program Control 4 with the new propane sensor driver. First, make sure you have downloaded the propane sensor driver and saved it into your Control 4 drivers folder. After adding the driver to the project, enter your license key and click set. Next, enter the five digit ID number of the transmitter in the tank one ID field. Up to five transmitters can be included in one driver. Now, bind the driver to the correct serial port that the receiver base station is connected to. If the base station is already powered on, the unit will be initialized upon binding. Within a few seconds, the base station status property should signify initialized state. Once the transmitter receives enough solar energy, approximately 6 to 8 hours of sunlight, it will begin to send messages every 8 to 10 minutes. If there is not sufficient time to charge the wireless transmitter for the recommended 6 to 8 hours, an optional battery pack can be purchased that will allow the technician to get immediate results from the transmitter for the initial setup procedure. Always make sure to install the provided transmitter battery port plug into the battery pack port to alleviate corrosion to the battery connectors on the transmitter. Now let's review some of the items on the properties tab of the driver. Keep Alive Timer this timer changes tank status to offline if it is not heard a response in X number of minutes. Recommended to leave this default at 30. Tank status displays overall tank status to include all five tanks if in use. Tank ID. Enter the sensor module number here. Tank level. The last reported tank level of forementioned tank ID. Base station status. Used to display certain states of the base station. Base station temp. Temperature reported at the base station location. Transmitter signal and transmitter noise. These are used to monitor the signal strength of the transmitter. The closer the noise and the signal strength are in value, the weaker the signal is from the transmitter. Debug mode. On and off. We'll print debug data to the Lua tab. Let's go over some programming examples for the propane sensor. In this example, we have programmed a status message to show the current tank level on a 7 inch touchscreen. In the next example, we have used a conditional to show a pop up message on a touchscreen if the tank level drops below 
In this example, we've used the tank1 status to show a pop-up if the tank sensor goes offline. In this last example, we are using a conditional to send an email to the Control 4 dealer if the rack temperature rises to 125 degrees or more. This is especially useful for a dealer to monitor the rack conditions. For more information, please visit houselogics.com.